In this video, we'll see what is the default step-by-step -step method of the routes getting installed in the routing table, what is the default order of selection, and what it is going to see initially. So now, uh, by default, let's take an example. I got a router one. The router one, I'm, I'm going to router one, and then I'm configured a static route, and I say IP route, and I'm going to say 192.168.2. Network, and the next hop address is this. Okay, so before the route getting installed, whatever the kind of routing you are using, it doesn't matter. So for any, any route, before it gets installed in the routing table, it must have the valid next hop. Now it is going to verify the next hop. If the next hop is reachable, in that case only the route will be installed in the routing table. So if the route, uh, if the route, if the next hop is not reachable, in that case it is not going to install the route in the routing table. So the mandatory condition for the route getting installed in the routing table is you must have a valid next hop address and that next hop has to be reachable. Now, assuming that the next hop is reachable, now in that case, let's say from the router one to reach 192.168.2. network, there are two possible routes and maybe there are two routing configurations done. Now there are two possible routes here. Now in this case, first it will be going to see the longest match. Now, whichever the route is having the longest match, that route is more preferable uh, and it's going to check the longest match here. Let's take an example. In my scenario, let's say to from this route, the destination network ID is 192.168.2.0 and the subnet mask is slash 24. And whereas the alternate route here, 192.168.2.0, and the slash value is 20, 27 or 28, let's say, with a slash 27. Now here you are, you are able to receive the same route here but there is a different mask in that case it's going to prefer the longest match. So first it will see the longest match so that the, this route will be installed in the routing table here. Now in case if there is a tie in the longest match then the next condition it will see the administrator distance. If the route is coming via static and the route is coming via RAP, RAP administrator distance is 1. 120 and the static administrator distance is 1. It's going to install the routes based on the administrator distance or it can be like two static routes you have configured like we did in the previous scenarios floating static routes where you have the administrator distance of one static route or the default route is 1 and the other one is 10. It's going to install the least administrator distance. So before it actually verifies the administrator distance it will see the longest prefix match and if the longest, if the prefix match is same on both the sides, then the next condition it is going to verify the administrative distance. And then if the administrative distance is same, like let's say if, if both the routes are coming from RIP and RIP, in that case it is going to see the least metric, whichever the route is having the least hops in case of RIP, like two hops, three hops, two is more preferable. It's going to install the routes based on the metric. And let's say if metric is same in that case, finally, it is going to do something called load balancing. Now for basic verification, I got a router one here on the router one. If I verify show IP route static based on the same labs, what we did in the previous uh, floating static routes. Now to reach 192.168.1.0 network, there is a static route and that is going via 10.002. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure one more route, static route for the same 192.168.2. network, but this time I'm going to configure it as slash 27 subnet mask and the next hop address I'm going to give 12.002 and also I'm giving the administrative distance of 10. Now here what I'm doing is uh, that to reach 2. network, this is slash 24 this route and the other route which I'm configuring is it is 2 network, the same network, but it's slash 27. Let's verify which route will be getting installed in the routing table. So if I go to router 1, if I verify the routing table, show IP route static. Now I can see both the routes are getting installed in the routing table. Now I can see both the routes are installed in the routing table, but it's going to see the longest match, which means if, you, if it has any packet to send within this range of slash 27, it's going to forward via 12.002. Okay, so let's say there is a trace. If I just try to trace here to 192.168.2. slash 27 means it comes in the range of 0 to 31. If I'm tracing to something like 2.21 within that range, it's going to 12.002. Okay, it's going by 12.002. But if, if any packets comes outside this range, 
outside this range means slash 27 means here it will be 0 to 31 and anything outside this range if i try to trace 192.168 2 dot 100 it's something outside the range so it's forwards based on this so the first thing it will see the longest prefix match and in case if the prefix is same in that case it is going to consider the administrative distance as the deciding factor like in the previous scenario we discussed that we have configured some administrative distance for the static route here is one and via this route we have configured 10 it's going to install the route with the administrative distance value of one because it is same but in case if, if both the administrative distance are same in that case it will see the metric in case of static routing there's no metric but if you're using rip protocol in that case it will see from this route to reach here there are two hops and from here it is only just one hop it will decide the best route based on the hop counts in case of rip in case of ehrp or osp protocols it will see the least cost and if both the routes are have the same metric then in that case it will install both the routes and forward the traffic via both the routes and that is what we call as equal cost load balancing now this is a default pass selection process or the the default step by step process which uh, which is considered by the routers when they install the routes in the routing table 